service. Speed 5G is about capacity, uh, quality of service provision and capacity extension in 5G networks. What we have achieved um, is we have come up with a model or with a framework um, we call this EDSA, Extended Dynamic Spectrum Access, um, which allows the allocation of resources across the different technologies. What EDSA does is it bridges across these different silos and it tries to allocate resources um, to allocate resources from these different air interface technologies, um, matching the demands of the particular applications that we've got out there. The main achievements that we have made so far um, are the specification and, um, and also initial simulations of the EDSA concept. So the specification of the framework, the identification of the different co uh, components that are part of this, and um, including the, the definition of the interfaces and how this can be or should be mapped onto the different, um, different technologies. Um, the, second, the second achievement is the definition of a new Mac um, because the separation or rather the allocation of resources um, in our case takes place on the very low level so that we talk directly to the access technologies um, and um, this means that uh, we need a Mac that allocates resources across, um, across the different available radio access technologies. Um, the third main achievement is um, then uh, a new type of or a new view at the backhaul um, the backhaul that is necessary to supply all these different, um, these different air interfaces with, uh, with the traffic flows that are happening. We believe that we, we will contribute very much to the more efficient use of spectrum. And, um, and that will lead to, um, to a number of, of gains. So um, this includes the definition of the Mac and, and the new RRM techniques um, will, be very much, um, will be very much at the core of this. Um, and also um, the overall contribution to this, reaching this, this aim of a thousandfold increase in the capacity available to mobile users. We are pretty heavily involved in the 5G PPP. We are contributing to a number of different um, activities there and we have contributed to the different white papers. So starting from the, from the scenarios and use case definitions, um, going to the architecture, um, contributions to the Spectrum white papers. We are aiming to demonstrate this on a larger scale. So far what we have done is uh, we demonstrated this in simulations, we demonstrated this in small proof of concepts, uh, concept demonstrators. We expect that we, we will contribute to, to larger trials and, and try to get our technology a bit further out and uh, making some impact with it. Uh -huh.